sign. There's the monument. I forgot to... Oh, well. Darn it. I really needed to use the reckless collar. He's handless, too. That's nice. So, so that was a test of, of luck. Uh, this guy is going to be big enough to... I can't really put the monument yet because I only, got, I only have it for two turns. And let's see, he'll have four toughness. So I wouldn't be able to kill this guy anyways. So I'm going to take five damage next turn. Which I don't like. But, oh well. I'm not used to playing Reckless Scholar, so I keep forgetting to use his ability, you'll notice. Uh, really not gonna go very well if I keep forgetting to use abilities on my on my guys. Next turn I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage in. But I mean, that's not enough to... That's not enough to not die. Especially since he probably has... Yeah. He's got the land. So he now kills my big 5-5 five five dude. And that was a great top deck for him, actually. He, he didn't know it, but he, it was. The reason I didn't play this earlier, you, you, you're thinking you didn't have the 5 damage, you could have played that. And, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Any attacks? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No. 5, 6, 7, 8. You can only kill two of them, of course. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, If I had played the monument, I would have had the sack creature the next turn. I would have done a one creature. So I'm gonna be down to one here. They all have to block him, so. I really need to draw more of my white creatures earlier in the game. <sighs> I gotta really go back to the drawing board and the, when I go to sideboard. Hmm. Not enough to save me. If I draw a... Let's draw something that I can play along with the Whiplash Trap. Nope. That would be game. Thanks. Oh no no. Right, because his his guy died too, of course. So it's not exact it's not a typical game, I guess. Um Yeah, so I'll try to mana and 
I fix it. Uh, I don't think this it's possible for this stuff to even win. Well, no, that's not true. Each day of judgment <laughs> against a, a, a creature, a deck that has so many creatures in it. Let's give him some more life, why not? I don't know why I'm even keeping now driving monument. It's probably gonna be sideboarded out. Mind you, you know, I mean what's gonna happen of course is uh next game you know, I'll draw a whole bunch of white creatures. I wish I had never lost the monument. Then I guess that scoot mob. But it's the only way I could have lived in the return. Well no, I could have blocked him and not got rid of his guy. Yada yada yada, so on and so forth. That's a nice top deck. And it lets me live a turn. But what am I really gonna do? Like, I'm just gonna concede. I could have lived another turn. There's no way I'm, c I'm coming back from this. Um, uh, no. Let's see, that is seven mana. One, two, three, four, five. Probably better off just playing him earlier. Depending, we'll see how this comes about. What does he do? Tap three permanents. That was a bounce of permanent. Yeah, I'll just play him. I don't think I can afford to wait a real long time against this guy. You gotta keep my guys attacking ahead so his uh, basilisks don't have a chance to run into them. Keep him back, I guess, and kill the colony hurt. Next turn, nothing wrong with that. Might as well get the full use out of him. Play this next following turn. Nice. Probably take three and he'll gain two. That's what'll happen it all together. So I'm sure he probably has non clear. They're pretty easy to get. He probably had multiple. I mean last time I played I had two blade matchers and three on new clerics, so they're not exactly hard. I saw a few Orn Reef guys go around, it's even worse. That's pretty bad too, but it's also means the journey is a little stronger. And with glass trap at that.